job done. Come on. Here I am at the Niall Ludolf Materials Recycling Center in the region of Waterloo with recycling expert Kathleen. Sup, girl. Hello, sup, hello. sup, hello. sup, home girl. Hello. So, uh, tell me, uh, Kathleen, you were saying that garbage isn't garbage. What, what, what do you mean? What do I mean? We have a lot of programs in, in our homes that we can recycle and reuse most of the objects. Don't think of garbage as waste. Think of it as a resource. Hmm. How can I recycle it? Okay, and, and we're doing a lot of that kind of recycling here at the plant. And uh, Niall Ludov, who, who is this character? Niall Ludov was the father of the blue box. You're telling me it was his idea? It was. Well, he, one of many, but uh, you, you know where the blue box was invented, oh, correct? I do believe it was invented in my hometown of Kitchener in the region of Waterloo. Quite right, quite awesome. right. So when you travel internationally and you see that little blue box everywhere, you remember Canadian invention. Amazing, I love it. So uh, you're going to show me around? We're going to get dirty, get get in there? I'd be delighted. All right, let's, let's go. Let's, all right, this way? Okay. Okay, Kathleen, so when you're putting your recycling in, what's the best way to do it? If you notice at the curb, you'll see that the drivers are sorting your recycling into two different compartments on the truck. Right. So the very right. best way is to use two different boxes. One for all of the papers mm -hmm. and the plastic bags. The second one would be for all of your containers, and those containers can be mixed up. So your tubs can go with your cans, can go with your plastic bottles. Okay. And I see here, this is, you can recycle molded plastic like this? You can, and there's a lot of electronics and toys that come in that. What we do need you to do though is cut it open and remove the paper. Mm -hmm. So the paper can go in this box okay. um, and the plastic can go in this box. If there's twist ties, if you wouldn't mind throwing those into the garbage. We, okay. we like a pure sort. The purer the sort, the better the recycling. Cool. <laughs> is a good thing. This is a great thing. This is the best recycling program that we have going. This one. 50% of the average household garbage can go right into the green bin. Whoa. And it's the heavy, heavy garbage. It's the stuff that stinks when it goes to the landfill. Right. We can recycle it. Think of this as a recycling program. What goes okay. in there is simple. All food. All food. All food. Candy, popcorn, meat, meat. bones, oh. everything. Sauces. All food can go in there. What about like oil? Yep. Now, the one thing also that can go in here is pet waste. And we poop. Would, You're talking about poop. I'm talking cat about poop. dog, dog waste, waste, cat waste, yes. With less than about three months, it is turned into this beautiful, beautiful product. This is compost. Look at that. It uses Mother Nature's formula to convert it to this. This is vitamins nice. for baby plants. So 95% of the finished compost is used for agriculture. By using compost, they are drastically reducing the amount of chemical fertilizers that they're right. using. So mm -hmm. that all saves all the stuff washing out into our water supply as well. It's wow. local, it's all natural, there's no chemicals, it's a beautiful, sustainable cycle. All by putting your food Love waste it. in here. Love it. Can it be any better? I can't wait to start putting dog poop in the, the green bin. That's <laughs> exciting. That's, that's big <laughs> And your food me. waste. We need a nice blend of the, Blended. Uh, the, the greens and the browns. So yeah. the, uh, the food waste and some of the soil paper waste. So what is all this? This is it smells like farm. It's great smelling. Isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of nice. This is yard waste. We have yard waste collection. It's a great diversion program. So it's not even into the busy yard waste uh, season yet. This is what we have. We take this yard waste and we will use it. We'll put it through a grinder. We'll use it to turn it into compost. The mm. compost is what we will give back to the residents for free. So Kathleen, you were saying that you, there was a, you, got, you, did, you did a study about the garbage bags and that most of the garbage shouldn't even have been there. That's correct. We, every couple of years, we randomly take some garbage bags and we'll open them up to study what our residents are throwing out. The last study showed that 53% of stuff that's going into the landfill could have gone into the green bin. My goodness. Yeah, another um, 15 to 20% was recycling, should have gone into the blue box. And only about 33% of the garbage, or the rest of the stuff that uh, was really truly garbage. Wow, so about 70% of that stuff is just people being lazy 
and not putting it in the right bin is what you're telling me. Seventy percent <laughs> of the stuff we have programmed, they have programs. Residents have, residents have programs in their homes to recycle it. Mm. Yes. Check it. We have mulch. We have compost. We have bicycles. We have what did we call this? Have a gently used building products. Building products. Cooking oil. Hmm. Motor oil. Yeah. Household hazardous waste. All of that stuff before it even goes into the landfill, before it goes into the green bin or the blue bin. Reuse it. All right, thanks Kathleen for giving us the super tour of the recycling facility. My pleasure, Janet. It's been uh, many sights and smells and sounds. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll see you next time. Right. Pound it, pound it. Recycling compost. <laughs> Peace out. I like that. <laughs>